Okay, to begin we want to line our backs. Our back is in neutral position and our hand is going to be on our lower abdominal and the other one is going to be on our chest. Now what we want to focus on is breathing into the belly and breathing out. Now naturally people tend to breathe through their shoulders and up through their chest and instead what we want to do is focus on the into the belly and out. So this is level one. Level two, we just literally lift our arms up straight above. They're not tense, they're not fighting, they're just relaxed and lifted straight above the shoulders, breathing into the belly and breathing out. Focus on dropping our rib cage down. So we're not flaring, we're not opening it up. Our back isn't arched, back is connected and our rib cage is closed. So breathing into the belly and breathing out. Now the next level, we're going to go single arm, coming down, slightly turning our palm towards the ground and coming back if the range of motion is too much, then just simply go smaller. But the key is, same position remains. We've got core engagement here, rib cage is down. After this, we step into the next one. You can either go single, single, double with the arms or you can just go simple doubles. Complete doubles the whole way. And again, if you fall, they're arching when you're coming back. Don't go as far with the range of motion as you build up the strength slowly, little by little. You'll be able to get all the way down, breathing in and breathing out. So the keys to remember, you can breathe, you're not straining, you can do it with ease, the amount of reps you need to do, and your rib cage is staying down, back is staying connected, and core engaged. Okay, we're going to bring our arms down to our side, same thing again, but this time with our legs. So we're going to bring our legs up slow and steady. Again, you're not bringing it straight up the middle, bring it just slightly out to the side, stopping our hip flexor and taking over that movement. Breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you're at the bottom, breathing out and breathing in. Awesome. When that starts to get easy, then you can start to bring it up. So breathing out and breathing in, breathing out and breathing in. Again, finding, making sure they can execute it with correct technique without the back arching and the rib cage flaring or tensing the entire body to make it happen. Next, we're gonna to come to the top of the movement and then we're gonna bring our arms up. Knees are slightly turned out. This is three month position because this is how babies are at three months. This is what they're working on to getting so strong to be able to work on sitting up and crawling, etc. So we can learn a lot <laughs> from their functional movement, their progression that they go through. Excellent. After this, you can go to arms. So bring it again back to single arms. Can the ribs stay down? And is the core engaged? Is the back connected? Yes. Cool. We can move on to doubles. How does that feel? Are we still in control? Can we still breathe throughout the movement? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Now we're going to move into heel digs. So coming down, breathing out, breathing in. Are we still good? It may take people weeks in this place. It may take them a month. It may take them, um, it may take them a few days and be like, yeah, actually, no, I'm strong enough to go on to the next. Again, are they ticking all of those boxes? Make sure that they're breathing. Beautiful, bring both feet down. Now we're gonna to go to single arm and single leg. So coming out, but with the planted foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Getting those connections. How far can I go before I arch my back? Extending and bringing in. Making sure you can do that on both sides. Very important to make sure we're stabilizing all the way through and then coming down. After this step, it's into the traditional dead bug, so extending opposite arm, opposite leg, and again, the range of motion determines how challenging. So you might find, actually, I can go down there, but then if I start to go down further, my back arches. So again, each time the client does it, it's checking that technique. As they start to feel like they can progress and they're getting stronger, then they can move on to the next level. The next level for this, there's so many variations, but the next one we'll do with this is with a plate holding above, um, straight above the chest, legs come up, and then again we bring it back down, we isolate it to the lower body movement. As they get stronger, they'll be able to go lower. Once they can go lower, you can bring it overhead and bring it back. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Slow and steady. <laughs> you can hear my voice shaking. 
and release. The next step towards that is you can actually start adding um, ankle weights if you wanted to and little dumbbells to the hands and having individual limbs going like a normal dead bug. So when it comes down to it, the variations of a dead bug are endless. So find one that is challenging for you or for your client and slowly progress or regress them depending on what they're able to do. Again, keeping good technique, making sure rib cage is closed, back is connected, core is engaged, there's no pain and they can do it with ease, then they can progress. If there is presence of that, then they need to regress the level beforehand. Hope that was helpful.